I'm arriving at the church with my father and um, my wedding veil I bought in Brussels, Belgium and my wedding gown I had borrowed from my cousin Joan Conry Mudd. Uh, we were married in St. Jerome's Church which has the longest church aisle in the city of Chicago so it was a long walk down. There goes my mother with my brother Bob escorting her. And here I come with my dad. Uh, we had a, what one would call a family wedding, although it was well over 100 people, but it was limited mostly to relatives and to very close friends. Uh, my cousin Bill Co Cook was the officiating priest there he is. Ellie was my maid of honor. Bob was the best man. There they are. Of course, Father Bill Cook looking a lot thinner than he did later on, the poor fellow. Yes, he ended up with um, serious diabetes, which was a result really of uh, too much sugar intake and so on, and had a very difficult final years. Wonderful fellow, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had lived in St. Jerome's ever since I was six years old, made my first communion there. And it was really a family church that your mother was very familiar with as, as well from her early days. That's right. That was up in the organ, I guess the organist and the um, lady singing. Well, we don't know who took these films. We've been trying to remember, but we just can't. There are two sets of them. Right. And of so-so and not so-so-so quality. There's You'll notice the altar is turned the old way. Um, there we are approaching the altar. Uh, which was only allowed on wedding days for non-liturgical uh, people. Things were much different in church uh, in 1959, let me tell you. Right. We still had the communion fast from midnight, and uh, our wedding was at 12 noon, so it was a long time. And you received uh, communion at the uh, altar rail, by golly. That's correct while you were kneeling. None of the standing up stuff. Here we are coming back out to the church. It was a big church, at least you can see it looks rather actually sparsely attended, although there were more people than you would think. This is outside the church. There comes Ellie, Mom Pope, my mother and Mom Pope, and uh, both our dads. Chuck and myself. Now, Art Cavalli, who's taking the uh, regular picture there, uh, took our other family pictures. He worked in the corporation counsel's office with my father. There's a rice being thrown at us. Uh, we're now going to the reception, which was at the Edgewater Golf Club in Chicago. And um, there we are in the receiving line. say some of the pictures and quality is not so good. Uh, <laughs> we had a complete uh, sit-down meal and uh, we're just getting ready to... There's Bob too. Yes, my brother's giving a toast. Paul Shesley. Right. Tim Lowry and his wife Virginia. My Aunt Adina in the background. Here's my Nancy Aunt Dogs. Hattie. Yes, Aunt Isabel. Jack Connery. Right yeah, there. white hair man there, right. There's Aunt Mary Buer. Okay, now here are the going outside, getting ready to leave. And my Aunt Hattie always loved flowers, so it's certainly appropriate and there Aunt Isabel, that she has them. And also I see Aunt Isabel has them there, too. That's my Aunt Florence. 
there, um, Chief Brady and my brother uh, horsing around, backing of the car up uh, from the parking lot for us. Pete was a shipmate of mine in the Navy from 1952 to 1954 on the USS Block Island. There my aunt's kissing my brother. Oh, there's flower girl Aunt Hattie again. <laughs> Ann Harden in the red. There I am in my going away suit, checked in the sport outfit. Ann Harden, oh, I guess I pointed her out, Ann in the red. Yeah. We went uh, on our honeymoon to Sea Island, Georgia, and also to Virginia Beach, Virginia, which... Um, worked in with Chuck's uh, Navy duty. We were still in the intelligence branch then. Of yes, Virginia. that's right. Of course, uh, Chuck was, his full-time occupation was practicing law in Chicago at, at that, that time. time. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Second set of our wedding pictures taken by somebody else. We're, they're all at the reception. There are a few of my close friends. That's Leo Finn, um, his wife Betty Degman Finn, Mary Nelson Riley in the red, Ann Harden Float in the, with the white hat there. There's my Lucia Lowry, the Seated deceased there. wife of my adult Lowry. Al George. He was my the first husband of my cousin Nancy Connery George. George Reardon on the left. Mm -hmm. His wife in the background, now deceased. These are mostly all relatives. That's my uncle Jack, his daughter Nancy Connery George at that time. Uh, Joan Connery Mudd, whose dress wedding dress I wore, is in the red there. There's Pete Grady, right. Sis Reardon. Uh, I don't, was she married at that time? Yes, she was. Yeah. yeah. To Tom O'Brien, George Reardon. Back There's to my friends, Mary, Betty, Leo. The background in gray, Fran Hoffman. There's Pete Diamond, mm -hmm. your father. Yeah. Fran again. There's your mother in the background. Mm-hmm. There we are, the happy couple. We don't know what happened there. <laughs> there are a lot of uh, gaps in the, in the film. Right. Inexplicable. I guess the groom's outfits and the father of the bride, etc., they haven't changed too much over the years, have they? No. The mom. The mom. Cousin Joan again. Father. Mm -hmm. Ann. seated at the beginning of the meal and there we're coming on um, Joyce and her husband Jack Riggio and they're expecting their second baby at the time who is Jana. There's mom. Yeah. Dad. Ellen. Mm -hmm. Shuslin in the background. Right. Father Bill. Mm -hmm. Or Paul, your, your father. Right. That's my father. Paul was my first cousin. 
daughter of my mother's sister, Geraldine Kirsten. Bab toasting his baby sister. <laughs> Two photographers out the store. Mm -hmm. Neither of them very professional. No. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even see these pictures for years because we didn't have projectors here in Ireland. Yeah, this is 16 millimeter. Mm -hmm. There's Bryce Hess, who's a cousin of mine, talking to Tim Lowry. We mentioned before, and his wife Virginia, and that's my Aunt Edwina. Aunt Edwina yeah. And there's Doak Lowry. Right. They were two very close members of our family. That's my uncle Fred Schock and his wife uh, Elaine. We called him Uncle, but he wasn't a blood relation. But he was a lifelong friend of my father's and his office associate. Yeah, one, once again, uh, most of There's the people Ellen. were family members or very close associates of, of our parents, except for the few young people of my age group, and uh, Pete, who came in from Connecticut for the wedding. Pete Grady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 